Good morning, everybody. Welcome to the Global Warming Channel. Uh, I wanted to do a quick video this morning uh, before I start to do my worm bin, my breeder bins. I wanted to put out this subject that doesn't get discussed much. It gets kind of glossed over a bit, but uh, it's about the water that we use in our worm bins uh, for our worms. Um, little my background is I have the highest achieved license possible for the state of Florida. Uh, it's a class A state license um, on water treatment. So I know a little bit something about water and I'm not going to go in great detail with water chemistry, but for the purposes of this video and for the purposes of glow for worming, uh, vermiculture and vermicomposting is um, the water we use for this matters and what I mean by that is what we don't want to do is we don't want to use water out of a faucet okay a little water chemistry is hundreds of years ago um, they started putting chlor. They started putting chlorine in the chlorine in the water. The reason for that is there's a lot of potential hazards to human health: pathogens, protozoa, bacteria, viruses. Uh, all these things are very deadly to human beings. So they knew they needed to come up with a, some sort of disinfectant that can kill, sequester, you know, suspend these harmful things to humans so with that being said in our water today we have chlorine we have we have ammonia in some cases so that's chloramines um, so all this stuff needs and it's potentially hazardous to the worms so we need to degasify this we need to get rid of this out of our water particularly through our faucets, okay? So if your water's coming out of your faucet from a treatment plant, uh, it's gonna have, it's gonna have them in it. And you got no choice. It has its federal law. So how do we get rid of that? What do we do? Uh, what kind of water do we use? Well, we use, there's three different ways to do this. You can either use well water, okay, that you don't chlorinate. You just come straight up out of the deep well from in your home um, or your property um, that would be that would be one way you could use a catch basin of some sort of barrel or catch rainwater that's that would be the optimal water to use because it's not going to have anything in it or if you have to use faucet water um, then you'd want to like I said degasify you want the chlorine out of the water how do we get chlorine out of the water Get the chlorine out of the water, it's real simple. You just put the water in a bucket of some sort and just leave the lid off and let it sit for over 24 hours and the chlorine will flash off and it'll disappear. Now you won't have chlorine in your water. That's one way to do it. Another way to do it is you could, like I have here, I have a little bucket full of water and I have a little bubbler, okay, just like you, you use for your fish aquariums. So I got the little bubbler and it's bubbling, so that's degasifying. That's oxidate, oxygenate the water and it's flashing off chlorine. So I know it's chlorine free. So I do that for a while and, and, and then I can use that water. Like I said, with the well water, the well water, you can use, like I said, if you don't chlorinate it, you can use it straight out of the well. So that's, that's good. That's good water to use. Uh, also well water, depending on where you're at in the country, well water tend, tends to have some of the beneficial minerals in it for the for the uh, worms as well like calcium see water rains okay it rains it goes through the ground it permeates down through limestone and shale and slate and all that so it permeates through all that down into the deep wells and by doing so it filters the water and it also puts uh, like calcium in the water okay that well water is full of calcium carbonate and it, it, it just is so we know calcium is good for the worms for for breeding purposes um so 
that's something, like I said, it's kind of brushed aside a little bit on most of these videos. They don't really, they just say, oh, just put some water in your bin. And you're like, you know, if you don't know anything, you're like, okay, no problem. You'll get a glass of water from the faucet. Well, no, don't do that. Don't, just don't, don't do that. Uh, you know that the bins and the worms, they need some of those things that's killed by the chlorine, the protozoas, the, you know, the certain bacterias that's needed in your worm bins. Okay. It's not needed in humans. It'll kill humans. Okay. It's got some bad stuff in it, but it's good for, it's good for the worms. It's good for the dirt. Okay. So, um, that's something you want to, that's something you want to be aware of. And like I said, you need to get the chlorine and ammonia. Another example is if you have a fish aquarium, you know you can't just get water out of your faucet and dump it in your fish aquarium because if you do, you're probably going to kill your worms because of the chlorine and the ammonia that's in the water. All right. Uh, even like, uh, I know this is getting a little too far, but like kidney dialysis patients, they can't, they can't use the water straight when they're doing their dialysis. They can't use the water straight out of a faucet because of the ammonia in the water. So, uh, you know, so all that stuff needs to be removed before you do your worm bin. So just be aware of that. If you have any comments, please put them in the, in the comment section about, you know, do you use faucet water? I mean, I'm sure people do. People, they do, but I'm just telling you what, what it does what water chemistry is made of and what chlorine does to the water, what it potentially could do to your worms and to your, to your dirt. I mean, it's just, it's wiping all that stuff out. So it, all the good stuff that it needs to be is not there when the chlorine. So anyways, I'm, I'm rambling on. So <laughs> anyways, I'm glad you guys are listening to me. And if you like what you see, uh, um, hit the like button put comments down in the comment section and please subscribe to my channel so I can get this channel to grow. Cause like I said, I've got this channel to, I don't, I want this, this thing I'm doing right now to turn into a big, huge business. That's my goal. My goal is to put quality uh, videos out for you guys so you can follow along step by step from a simple person. Okay. I'm a simple person. I try to make everything as simple as possible. I don't, there's a lot of stuff that doesn't need to be said. So, Anyways, uh, like I said, like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Until then, have a good day.